What is transwave synthesis? You probably have heard of some of the more popular ways of creating sound, such as subtractive synthesis or FM synthesis. Today I'll be talking about a lesser known type of synthesis called transwave synthesis. So what is transwave synthesis? Well, it's a type of sample-based synthesis that was featured on some insonic instruments from the 1980s and 90s. A simple way to think of this is Transwave is a sample-based synthesizer with some special features added. One of these special features is the ability to do real-time modulation of a location of a loop region within an audio sample. So in real-time, you can change which portion of a sample you are looping as the player is holding down a key on the keyboard. Have I confused you yet? Let me break it down a little bit. So in order to understand transwave synthesis, first we want to make sure we understand sample-based synthesis. In sample-based synthesis, you're using a sound recording as a tone source for a synthesizer. The synthesizer is able to play that recording at different pitches, higher or lower. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. As well as running it through filters. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And modifying its volume over time and otherwise modifying the sound. Okay, so now let's take this simple example of sample based synthesis and add some features that turn it into transwave synthesis. The first thing that we do when we're dealing with a transwave is set a loop region in the sample. So this here is my beginning of my loop or my loop start. And this here is my loop end. In this case, when the sample is played, it will start from the beginning until it hits the loop, and then it will repeat the loop until the player releases the key on the keyboard. One, two, three, 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 three. Now this is an oversimplified example, but it gives you the basic idea behind a transwave synthesis. And what transwave feature allows you to do is to move around this loop region in real time while you're playing the note. This example here on my computer is pretty limited though. Let's go ahead and move to the actual sampler hardware for a real example. Okay, so I've loaded up my sample here. One, two, three. Now the first thing I wanna to do to make a transwave out of this is to turn on loop mode for the sample. So let's start with loop forward. One, 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 one. And I've already set a beginning and end point for my loop. One, one. one. Now these uh, samplers also allow you to do other loop modes, such as loop bidirectional. One, oh, one, oh, one. What that does is it plays through the sample. When it hits the end of the loop, it plays reverse back to the beginning and back and forth. One, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, oh. Now we want to modulate or modify in real time the location of this loop, where it is in the sample. So here is the transwave mod type and it's gonna get its value from the mod wheel on my keyboard. And that is the basic oversimplified explanation of transwave synthesis. There's a lot of other features here that really come together to make this a very cool tool for sound creation. I've just scratched the surface. Now, if you want to know how to create your own transwave patches, I recommend you check out Robin's YouTube channel. He has some great step-by-step -step tutorials on how to program these Insonic samplers. Now let's check out the ambient soundtrack that I made using the transwave features on a single sample. What you're about to hear is a single patch made with a single sample. I have my MIDI keyboard set to just hold down keys and yet what you hear is a complex, evolving, ambient soundscape. To create this patch, I use the method described by Robin on his YouTube channel, which I will link to here and in the description. Here we go.